guys, it's Lady B. There are six days left until the World Championship Finals. And as we lead up to it, we're talking to the guys over at ATN to find out a little bit more about how they're preparing in their road to the finals. So I caught up with Lene today to ask him if he thinks that ATN getting the first golden ticket into the World Championship qualifiers gives them an advantage going into this. Um, I think it was more to being in a comfort zone than a real advantage because, um, yeah, we could play all the year, a little bit less, spend more time with us family and not doing all the qualifier every month. So it was really great for that. But in another hand, it's actually really risky because, yeah, we could have stepped on competitively, but as you know, that's not what we have done. So. I hope we will be able to show you that in the World Championship of Gates Attacks. Well, I definitely don't think we've seen any step down in gameplay, in action, in expectations from what we see from ATN. If anything, we just see from time to time, they are human. So I think the comfort zone that they had with that early play, as Lynnade mentioned, really has paid off for them, particularly when you take into account some of the incredible tournaments that they've been recently winning, including the most recent one, 10,000 euro grand prize for ESL Mobile Open. So they've had a lot coming through, a lot of experience leading to the World Championship Finals, but it all needs to align. And after speaking to Yo-Yo and Boom and seeing some of their attacks that they've been doing with them stepping out of their comfort zones and attack strategies, we also get to see that with Lenade here. Now, now, Lenate is a resident hybrid attacker. He loves his queen charge hybrid, and he's one of the best at it. But we can also see that he can also translate that queen charge into other attack strategies, including this incredible queen charge drag attack. And this is the ATN that I want to see coming through into the World Championship Finals, a team that's ready to adapt to what needs to be done and still come through with flying colors. And it's the three stars that are going to matter here, which is exactly what Lenade pulls through. So Lenade's been hitting at about an 81% hit rate through the various leagues so far. He's been doing Doing great work and the flexibility should certainly pay off. So we still have more of our teammates to talk to to find out how they're preparing. So if you want to see more of these interviews, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to the Alternate Attacks YouTube channel, and follow us all on Twitter. I will post the links in the description below.